Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the UIM Completionist. In the last one we finished the Western Provinces Elite Diary and we got the Daily Resurrection at Zalra. At Zalra I want to get an Onyx because what we really want to do is make an Amulet of Torture and go ahead to do Serb. So the goal at the immediate future is either to get an onyx or go up to 250 kc because that will round us out at a nice clean 1000 so that's the goal for now i'm gonna go kill the big snake and i hope you'll enjoy and shortly after recording that intro i went on a little weekend vacation and since there wasn't really anything to do there in the evenings i was killing a little bit of zolra and at 835 KC, I got a new PB from 108 to 105, still doing only the Bofa method, which was pretty cool, fast kill. And then at about 850 KC, I got a Serpentine Visage, which was great because that was 550 KC with no unique streak broken finally. And I dismantled it for 20k scales, which was a great feeling. And after that, like two hours later we got another serp visage so that's another 20k scales and now we are at a white scale stack and that's all that happened a level on the free to play uim we're gonna have 85 prayer a quarter of the way to 99 and here we have the 1000 zodra kc oh a spirit seed that's great and we didn't get any more uniques, and we did not, in fact, get the Onyx. So, uh, yeah, as I said before, this is the stopping point. I could go further, but I also realized that my Zolra speed is atrocious compared to what other people are getting with Tebow, so I don't think there is really much point in staying here any longer. 1000 KC, very cool number. I will just go sell Chaos Runes for Tokul and buy the Onyx and we will make the torture and be on our merry way to the Cerberus. It hurts so much not to have a white sack of Chaos Runes anymore, but here's 260k Tokul and that means we buy the Uncad Onyx. Zenite. That's Zenite Amulet Unstrung. Made. Strung. And enchanted. Oh, I brought wrong runes. As I was saying, here's the amulet made, strung, and enchanted, and we have an amulet of torture now. I also completely forgot to mention what we even got from Zolra, so we got a bunch of Zolra scales in the raw form and in two uniques, the serpentine visages. I also got a bunch of Antidote++ plus pluses and Adi bars, but I just kept using those two up as I was going because I wanted to clear up my inventory. And on the very last stretch, I just decided to keep them in the Envy and uh, the kill rate actually didn't fall down. So I should have been doing that from the start, but that's beside the point. And the most important things are close to 400 dwarf weeds. I will be using this up together with the 800 U logs as soon as I can to clear out those two inventories. I have bagged wines of Zami, so that's perfect. We will just add that to the range potion stack. And we got like 200 dragon bones, and that would be it. Goodbye, Fury. You served me well. Now, let's just use this dark totem, and then it's serve time. For those of you that might not know, my relationship with Serb is kinda rough. We've been on 1151 dates and I haven't got any boot crystal from him. But that's gonna change today. I'm gonna do the YouTube thing and say the video's not gonna end until I get a crystal from Serb. And since that's completely RNG, you cannot be mad if I was lying. So wish me luck. There it is. There it is, I can't believe it. Let me teleport out, I'm under attack. 1180 KC and we got the best one first. Here's the Primordial Crystal. This is the item I wanted since the start of this account. The Primordial Boots look so good. I can't wait, let's make them right away. Oh. Oh yes, these look so good. I finally have prims. Ah! 
nerd ecstatic over pixel game. Oh, I have prims. So, um, obligatory UIM take. These are not a big upgrade at all. And the only reason they are worth keeping and using is because they are boots and they are there are no other boots that are worth keeping unless we're talking very specific scenarios so we can discuss that some other time uh but there is no point in keeping two pairs of boots so we're keeping prims and ah uh, i have prims yes yeah okay it's business as usual Actually, that's pretty good. My axe ran out of charges already, so that's free 875k fire making XP. I was so completely unprepared to record that I just had to pick it up and tell you out, but we snagged a Pigasian Crystal, and you might think, gee, Pigasian Crystal, isn't that like the worst one of all that's not worth even like 100k? And that's true. But to me, this is a very important drop. I visited Hesperia because tomorrow's Monday and I gotta hit the big redwood tree anyway, but here is the clip that I wanted to make for such a long time. Now that we got the Pegasian Crystal, I've been carrying Ranger Boots in my bag for like a year or maybe a year and a half. They've been a dead bag slot for such a long time just because I really wanted to do this. There is no way Pegasian boots are worth to keep on a UIM, but I wanted to make them and I wanted to wear them. And now I'll just drop them over to the alt. Uh, we got a dupe prim and my cat is purring into the mic, so maybe you can hear that. But the dupe prim is actually perfect timing because we are not going to drop it to the alt because this week a change came into the game that let us store primordial boots in that one stash, one of the very few stashes that I still don't have. Uh, so we can store the dupe, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, we can build the stash at the same time. So feeding two birds with one scone. Task is over and we got dark beasts. So I think this is as good a time as any to put a pause in the Slayer grind and build the stash so we can get rid of this primordial crystal here now one of the items required for the stash is split bark legs and i really 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 don't feel like going to the wilderness right now so the only other option to get split bark is to get fine cloth and make it ourselves and that means shades of morton so i'm gonna uh, probably go and do that Okay, fine, I'll go do Chaos Fanatic, but only because I still want some combat achievements from him, and if there's an opportunity to get the item I want and some combat achievements, then I guess I have to take it. Um, I didn't bring any prayer potions because I plan to do the CA that requires me to kill him 10 times without restoring any prayer via potions, so we're gonna use the Chaos Altar. And in a pinch, we have the Falador shield. I believe that is okay to use as well. And as for the gear, I'm bringing pure rags. Uh, decided to bring Amethyst arrows this time. Well, last time when I did Chaos Fanatic, I brought Broad arrows. And they, like, do half the damage of the Amethyst. At least they have half the strength bonus. So this should be a decent upgrade. I also decided to bring an Avaz accumulator. Previously, I brought a... RD cloak for the prayer bonus, but uh, I just need to run around and pick up the arrows and that's a no-go. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Here's the combat achievement done. Now we can chill out and start drinking the prayer potion he drops. And I just need the split bart legs and I can get out of here. There we go, the split bark legs. Now, there is also one more CA for having 25 KC, and I wouldn't have to come back here anyway. It's like five more KC, so I think we're gonna stay and risk it. I'll eat my words if we get PK'd. Okay, that should be the CA, and I'm running it real close with the death pile timer. There's like 10 minutes left, so I will be swiftly getting out of here. And so we have all of the required items, so let's build this stash. Let's turn our dragon boots into primordial boots. And let's fill it. 
And that's stash 12 out of 16 on our road to all stashes completed. And now it's time to go back to Serb. Why? My brother in Gathix, I got the task. For real though, I still need pickaxe from KQ, so if we get a boss task that I don't have the log greened out for, then I might as well do it. Oh look! The eternal crystal, if I can click properly, let me pick it up as always and teleport out. So the eternal crystal creates eternal boots and those give plus 8 magic accuracy bonus and a little bit of defense bonuses. But over the next best magic storable boots, which are the infinity boots, you only get the little bit of defense bonus. I bet that's plus 5 versus every style and plus 3 magic accuracy. So they are definitely not worth to keep on a UIM, at least not for a long time. You can make an argument if you have a shadow and all the other best in slot magic items to keep them for some grind where you're using the shadow a lot and then drop them but for a long time definitely not and for me it's gonna be an easy instant drop because i don't even have a shadow after that serp task finished i decided to switch things up a little and go back to bandos we still need an entire god sword that is the hilt and three distinct shards so I decided why not, plus when I was doing it, I strangely liked the method, it has a cool rhythm to it. And that was 100 KC ago. So I told myself I will record this little clip if we get something, and we did! We got our third pair of Bando's boots. Hi, as I'm hopefully showing you right now, we got our first God Sword shard, which is the God Sword shard 1. I'm terrible at speaking when I am doing PVM, so you're getting post commentary. Uh, this is a little bit of a struggle because it's kind of taking up our inventory. I mean, it's good that we got it, but now I have to commit to finishing this God Sword. At least I'm having fun at Bandos still. So the plan is the next time I die, we will be looking into our looting bag and probably utilizing all of those chaos runes, either selling them or doing something else with them. So I can throw that gold sword shard in, and then once we start getting different shards, we can combine them into, you know, gold sword shard 1 plus 3 or something. Um, and I don't suspect we will spoon the hilt, so that is the current plan. We are currently at 369 nice KC at Bando, so this trip will be my last and that means even if I get one kill during this, we have gotten 300 Bandos KC since the start of this video. And I have gotten a God Sword Shard 1 and a Dupe Boots and something you didn't see yet, another God Sword Shard 1. So I cannot hope for the best case scenario every time, but this is a pretty bad scenario for my inventory since I am going for both Bandos and Zamorak God Swords. So I need to keep those shards so because they're vastly rarer than I thought they would be. Uh, and this is killing my inventory. So after this trip, I will be going to Hespori because today is Sunday night. So you already know I need to prepare for some AFK activities tomorrow at work. And we will be taking some stuff from the looting bag and taking care of it so we can stash at least one, but hopefully both of those shards in the bag. We just got tellied out right as I killed Grider, so I don't know what we got, but the final KC is 375. So the first item to go will be those noted raw sharks. The only PVM that I suspect I will be doing in the nearest future will be Bandos and Krill. And for both of those, I will be using Bruise. Uh, I will be cooking the sharks and then dropping them cooked. This is a very good chunk of cooking XP. I will not be picking them one by one on my alt, so they will just go to either random people who would like to pick them up or they'll just rot on the ground. That's all the sharks done with. I cooked them and I threw them on the ground. I don't need your handouts. With the sharks gone, that's one slot in the looting bag open for the God Sword shards. Now the second slot will be those Chaos runes. The stack doesn't look as good as it used to. So I guess I'll just get rid of them. We can always buy some back. Now if I had a gem bag, I would probably sell them all for Tokul and buy rubies, diamonds, and onyx bolt tips. But without a gem bag, 
I started calculating that and while we would get a little bit more XP, uh, I mean GP, selling them for Onyx Bolt tips and then making the Bolts and Alking, that would take a lot of time, plus we would have to mine a bunch of Runite to make the Bolts. I will just be selling them to Ali Morrison, he will be buying them for 45 gold each, so that's like 2, maybe 3 mil gold. I don't know how I managed to miscalculate it so bad, but we are at almost 4 million, so not 2 to 3, but close to 4. Uh, I teach maths, so maybe don't send your kids to be taught by me, because then they're, they're gonna fail in life. But yes, that's uh, Chaos Runes used up. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. A whole lot of PVM has been done and a whole lot of PVM is still in my future. We're still going for the Dragon Pick and the two God Swords. And I'm getting a little bit of a PVM headache. I never was a PVM enjoyer, but I really want to get this stash goal done before we switch to another big overarching goal. So uh, that is the plan for now, at least for now, Bandos is still enjoyable. I don't know about Krill and I definitely don't enjoy KQ, but I hope that will change the closer we are to finishing this goal. And as for now, thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you had a fantastic day. We have a system update in half an hour that's gonna introduce the UIM storage box or storage option to deposit logs for forestry, so I will get a little bit of a break. But in the meantime, I hope you had a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.